Hey guys, Kiano Robotics here. Um, when you first build a robot, the first thing that you might want to do with your robot is to make your robot to do something useful. And of course to do that, you need to learn how to control the motors of your robot. And for the past week, I have been going through the motor commands of uh, in Robot C. And this week, I just want to share with you uh, some of the more commonly used commands uh, in robot C okay for this week um, I'm using this robot which you can build with only one retail EV3 set so this is the standard robot from the manual okay so for the benefit of those who has only um, one EV3 set at home. You can try out the codes later on. Alright guys, there is actually a very long list of motor commands in Robot C, um, but for this video, I will just be going through some of the more uh, commonly used motor commands, uh, which I think you will use in most of your designs and applications. So let's go through some of them. The first one, of course, is called uh, Set Motor Speed which accepts two arguments. The first one is your motor index, yeah, either motor A, B, C, or D. And the second argument is your motor speed, which range from negative 100 to positive 100. So right here, I have a very simple program, right, which I have configured my motor B as my left motor and my motor C as my right motor. So the first three lines, we will try to move the robot forward at half power for two seconds. Okay, and so to do that, um, first you have one set motor speed. You set for your left motor at a power of 50. The second line, you, you do the same set motor speed. Um, this time it's right motor at a power of 50 and you sleep for two seconds so in order to perform this you need three lines which is equivalent to ev3g on your motor for seconds the next three lines we stop the robot for one second to do that you just need to enter a power of zero for these two commands the next three lines will reverse the robot at half power for 1.5 seconds. So you just need to key in a negative power for both motors. And the last three lines will make the robot turn left at full power for 0.5 seconds. So in order to do that, um, you have to set your left motor to 100 power and your right motor to negative 100. Let's download uh, this program to the robot and see how it runs. The second motor command is called move motor target, which accepts three arguments. The first is your motor index. The second one is a position in degrees. The third one is your motor speed, ranging from negative 100 to 100. So, I have another program for this uh, motor command. So what this does is basically to move the robot forward at half power for 1000 degrees. So the first line um, is for the left motor to move 1000 degrees at 50 power. The second line for your right motor to move 1000 degrees. The next line, wait until motor stop, is basically to allow the motors to move and complete 1000 degrees of rotation before continuing to the next line. All right. So here I make it pause for one second. And the next three lines basically makes the robot reverse at half power for 1000 degrees. So same thing. Um, except you change your motor power to negative 50 for both your left and your right motor. OK, 
Okay, and the last three lines basically makes the robot turn left at half power for 525 degrees, uh, which is about 90 degree turn on the robot. So let's download this to the robot and see how it goes. The next command is called a set motor sync encoder. Um, this command synchronizes two motors for a specified amount of encoder counts. Um, this command accepts five arguments. First one is your motor one. Uh, the second one is your motor two. And the third one is your turn ratio. Fourth one is your encoder count in degrees. And the fifth argument is your motor power. Um, from negative 100 to 100. This is um, actually similar to EV3G's move steering command where it allows you to control the movement of two motors in one single command and also the steering of the, the robot. Okay. So according to the help file, um, the turn ratio determines how your robot or both the motors are going to behave so if you set a value of 100 it will apply power to motor 1 and negative power to motor 2 if you set negative 100 it's going to apply negative power to motor 1 and positive power to motor 2 if it's a zero it's going to set equal power to both motor 1 and motor 2 so basically a straight movement if you set 50 it will apply all of the power to motor 1 and 0 power to motor 2. If it's negative 50, it's going to apply 0 power to motor 1 and all the power to motor 2. To help myself to be able to remember um, what each turn ratio number represents, I have declared um, one variable for each turn ratio number. So 100 is point turn right, negative 100 is point turn left, 0 is point uh, is forward, 50 is right swing turn, and negative 50 is for left swing turn. Okay, so the first portion of this program will make the robot do a left point turn for 525 um, degrees at half power. So the first argument is your left motor, the second argument is your right motor, then your point turn left, your degrees, and your motor power. All right. Same as the previous program, I put a wait until motor stop before continuing to the next command. So the second portion of the program is going to make the robot do a right point turn at half power. So everything else stays the same except in this turn ratio argument, I put point turn right. right. The third one, we make the robot move forward for 1000 degrees at half power. Same thing, um, except I put this, the turn ratio, as forward. The fourth one is going to make the robot do a left swing turn for 525 degree encoder counts. So everything else is the same, except the turn ratio. And same goes for the, the last portion of the program, which will make the robot do a right swing turn for 525 degrees. Same thing, um, just switch out the turn ratio to right swing turn. Let's download this program to the robot and see how it runs. The next motor command is called set motor brake mode, which accepts two arguments. The first is your motor index, and the second one is your motor brake mode setting, which will either be brake or coast in this case. The set motor brake mode command is used before you start issuing any move commands to your motor. So in this program, 
you can see the first two lines I've already set my left motor and my right motor to coast mode so what it does is when you um, stop applying power to the motor as demonstrated in the fourth and the fifth line it should gradually come to a stop instead of a, a sudden stop okay and in the second portion of the program I've changed the set motor brake mode to motor brake this time for both the left and the right so after moving forward for two seconds um, I cut off the power to both the left and the right motor and this time um, the old robot should come to a sudden stop it's like um, a break all right so let's download this program to the robot and see how it goes the last motor command for this week is called get motor encoder which accepts one argument uh, which is your motor index so this command basically returns the encoder value of the motor plugged into the port specified by the motor index in degrees. So it basically reads the encoder value of your motor. Okay. I have a slightly more complicated program here, um, which uses the get motor encoder command. So this program basically varies the motor speed and the LED color based on the motor encoder value okay so in the time in the main task um, first I reset the encoder value of the left motor and then um, the first while loop checks for the encoder value to see if it's less than 3600 degrees if this is true, the program will execute the next while loop to check if the motor encoder value is less than 1800 degrees. This loop basically moves the robot at half speed and flash the orange LED while the encoder is less than 1800 degrees. It will keep executing this while loop until the encoder has exceeded uh, 1800 degrees which in this case um, it will execute this the third while loop which is the same level of this so this loop basically moves the robot at 75 percent speed and flash the green led while the encoder is more than 1800 degrees and less than 3600 degrees okay um, once the robot has moved more than 3600 degrees, it will come up from this while loop and then um, apply zero power to the left and the right motor to basically stop the robot. Wait until the motor stops okay, and play a sound file, bravo, pause for one second and end the main program. So let's download this program to the robot and see how it goes. So that's it for this week's video. I know this video is a little bit long compared to my previous videos, but I hope um, this video will help you get started with uh, using motor commands and do some basic movements for your robot using Robot C. If you find this uh, video helpful and useful to you, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks guys. See you.